Labour MSP Jenny Mara has come under fire from the party's own LGBT lobby over a meeting being hosted at the Scottish Parliament and a declaration of support for women's rights. The row over the cross-party initiative mirrors the rift which has opened up within SNP ranks at Holyrood over women's sex-based protections and whether they conflict with the needs of trans people. The group LGBT plus Labour Scotland, which is affiliated to the National Party, has accused Mara and SNP MSP Joan McAlpine of driving prejudice against minorities. The women's pledge being promoted by the meeting argues that women have the right to discuss policies which affect them, such as the proposed self-identification of sex, without being abused or silenced. It also argues for the maintaining of sex-based protections set out in the 2010 Equality Act 2010, providing for female-only spaces in hospitals, changing rooms, hostels and prisons. It also argues for the protection of single-sex sport to ensure fairness for those born as women. However LGBT plus Labour Scotland said in a statement it was extremely disappointed that Mara, as a Labour MSP is co-sponsoring the event. Objecting to the speakers who it accused of spreading misinformation and hatred against trans people, the statement raised particular concern that the event is scheduled for the International Trans Day of Remembrance. The fact that they have chosen to hold this event on an International Trans Day of Remembrance is provocative and cruel. This is a day in which trans people, who are killed and murdered at a disproportionately high rate globally, are remembered and their lives celebrated, the statement says. The speakers Dr. Heather Brunskill Evans and Dr. Sheila Jeffries have regressive views, LGBT plus Labour Scotland said, claiming Dr. Brunskill Evans co-authored a book which seeks to fearmonger about the transgender ideology while Dr. Jeffries is accused of describing transgenderism as a masochistic sexual obsession. The group is calling for the meeting to be cancelled, and for Mara and McAlpine to apologize for the incredible hurt that they have caused. These organizations understand that the narrative which the organizers of this event are trying to draw, namely that there is a conflict between trans rights and women's rights, is totally false, the statement states, adding, it is always particularly disappointing when figures in your own party, who many look up to, choose to drive prejudice against minorities, but Scottish Labour has always been a driving force for equality, we stand in solidarity with trans people everywhere. The SNP has already seen splits over the issue with Ms McAlpine and other colleagues including Joanna Cherry MP insisting that unrestricted access to women's spaces for trans women, whose birth sex was male, desire for more on this story, visit the news article link.